Hey guys, so if you're like me, you just got your swipe bidet right here. Um, and me, an actual plumber, is going to show you how to install it. Um, proof that I'm an actual plumber, here are my actual plumber tools with this bad boy. I bet you just called this a crescent wrench. It's not. It's a monkey wrench, okay? And here's, here's my... Here's my pipe wrench. That's how you know I'm the real deal. I'm a real ass plumber. So here's how you are gonna install your very own swipe bidet. Uh, just so open this bad boy up. Right here you got, you got that bad boy, right? And then here you got your very own uh, tube thingy, right? With the with the little guy there. You probably don't know what that is. And then they they I don't know what that is. Um, so basically, you're gonna come over here to your toilet and the first step here is just gonna be to shut off your water. So you can just reach down here. It's probably on, if you're facing it, the left side might be the right side. Uh, this one you gotta turn until right there. It's stopped uh, just until it's tight, that's fine. Or if you're cool, you have one that you just turn 90 degrees. All right, and then all you gotta do is flush it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then it stops. And you don't hear the tank refilling. That means this tank is mostly empty. All right, so that's what the inside of your tank looks like. Um, it's gonna be fine as long as you flush it. Uh, not a lot of water is gonna come out. So then down here, you're just gonna unscrew, boop, 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 make sure you're going the right way and not tightening it. Uh, I grabbed the bucket but you don't really need it. Uh, it's just gonna drip a little and you can clean that up. And now this hose is disconnected. So now uh, your next step is gonna be to remove the seat here. So all you have to do is you just, right here, you can pop that and pop that guy. And then you're gonna have screws right there and it's not focusing. There we go, you're gonna have screws right there. So grab yourself a screwdriver, put it in there and go tweet, tweet, tweet. And then there's gonna be a little nut under here that you need to hold on to uh, just so that it actually unscrews. All right, once you get that, you should be able to just grab that toilet seat and rip it right off, set it somewhere over there. Great opportunity to clean that, by the way, because I know you little piss babies got it everywhere but the bowl. Um, so now's a great time to wipe up all that piss, you little piss babies. All right, so now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take this guy and get it out of the bed. Now that you got that hose disconnected, uh, you're gonna take uh, your uh, T-valve right here. It's not really valve, T-splitter guy. And with the O-ring right there, you're gonna put that where you just disconnected the hose. Um, and you don't need any wrench or anything for this. Just hand tight uh, is perfectly, perfectly fine. All right. Got that on, then connect the hose right there onto the T-valve. Uh, make sure that the T is not pointing in, but should be pointing out just like that uh, so that you can connect the bidet there. And then tightening that guy up real good. All right, so you got this tightened in there real, real good. Oh gosh, I guess mine isn't. Uh, all right, you got that in real good. You got this T right there angled out. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this guy, get it out of the bag, and then we're gonna put it on right there. Bam, movie magic. Uh, you just get that little adjuster so that this guy is nice and center. Uh, you got this guy right over there. And then we're gonna uh, grab our seat and just put it on top. Look at that. And then once you get everything lined up and good, we're just gonna stick our screws down there. You're gonna hold the little nut here and then tighten it up. Make sure when you tighten this up, only hand tight because even though you should have plastic screws like I do, um, you, if you do, or especially if you don't, over tightening them could crack your toilet, then you gotta buy a new one and that's like $80. And that's as much as the bidet was. The fuck? Frick. Uh, so don't do that. Uh, it shouldn't be the biggest concern, but don't do it.
Bam, more movie magic. I got that in real good. So now you're gonna take this guy and all it's gonna do is it's gonna connect right, right. <laughs> gonna go right there and then the other part it's gonna oh it's gonna there's down here and then it's gonna right in there uh and that's the next step do that all right uh now you got this cur this uh hose in uh got the little curly cute and got it in right over here uh now all we need to do is we're gonna turn it on and when you turn it on do it super slow just in case um should be fine if you notice any leaks, all you have to do is just turn it right back off, uh, go to wherever it was leaking, tighten it, it might not be on straight, grab a wrench if you wanna tighten it down more, but you shouldn't really need one, but if you do, it absolutely does not hurt. So let's give it a go. And your tank should start filling when this happens, so you'll hear that. All right, so here you're gonna notice that it actually does start leaking for me. Of course, this is for educational purposes only. So I, uh, I literally leaking, so never make a mistake. Back, I'm a professional oh my, plumber. Oh no, not the toilet paper, no! God damn it. Uh, I think my little plastic guy here isn't on straight. I was worried about that, so I'm gonna fix it like. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, Yeah, so. Uh, just went back, tightened everything down. I did uh, use the wrench just to make sure I got everything good. Um, that's what you probably need to do if you're not getting it to stop leaking. Uh, but once you got that down, then uh, you should be good to go. Just uh, re reach over here. Uh, you can put the uh, lid of your tank on right like that, and it's working. And you open that up, flush. Oh, look, it flushes. That's awesome. Uh, and then this guy right here, uh, you turn it and it go, it like cleans itself, I guess. That's cool. And then you like, whoa, I just, oh God, oh. My mom's gonna kill me. Um, and now that you are all done, you get the oh so satisfying. Oh, that's nice right there. All right, guys, that is your swipe bidet. Now you can go take yourself a shit and finally have a clean ass. All right, Lud Buds. Thank you for watching this tutorial by A Real Life Plumber. I'll see you next time. Enjoy your clean ass.